there's a lot of news to get to. We're going to start with today's top political stories. Vice President Harris landed in La Crosse, Wisconsin this afternoon. She's holding back to back rallies in the battleground state and she's campaigning with billionaire Mark Cuban, visiting a college business class. Natalie Brand has more on today's campaign stops. Vice President Kamala Harris is on a swing through Wisconsin, where the presidential race is considered a toss-up. She started with a stop at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee as her campaign tries to turn out the youth vote. Now, since we're getting older and we're looking to buy houses, I feel like the economy is a big reason why I'm voting for who I'm voting. Former President Donald Trump stopped by a barber shop in the Bronx this afternoon with a large security detail. Tonight, Trump appears at the Al Smith dinner to raise money for Catholic charities, a tradition for presidential candidates. Harris will give pre-taped remarks as her campaign says she's focused on being in the battleground states. Trump's running mate campaigned in Pittsburgh this afternoon, making a play for energy-minded voters in western Pennsylvania. Between West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, we've got enough coal and natural gas to power a golden age of American prosperity. In North Carolina, another key battleground, early in-person voting kicked off with dedicated voters in Asheville, undeterred by the hurricane devastation. It's a civic duty to vote. We've got to take it, start taking it more seriously oh, okay. than we have in the past. Harris's running mate, Governor Tim Walz, is campaigning in Durham today alongside former President Bill Clinton. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.